Hello, dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining Mother and Refuge of the End Times. In the wake of the devastating wildfires that swept through Maui just yesterday, a powerful narrative of hope and inspiration emerges, underscoring the unbreakable spirit of a community deeply rooted in faith and unity. Amidst the smoldering remains of homes and historic treasures, a symbol of unwavering hope rises, the Maria Lanaquila Catholic Church. Founded in 1846 by Father Aubert, this sacred sanctuary, whose name translates to Our Lady of Victory, stands as a testament to the triumph of the human spirit against the fiercest trials. As the flames raged and the island faced heart-rending losses, the Maria Lanaquila Church remains steadfast, an emblem of the timeless strength that faith and community bring. While the fires scarred the land, the church's walls stood tall, a beacon of light in the midst of darkness. Nothing else but Maria Lanaquila. Valley Gems. The church's intrinsic value lies not only in its architectural significance, but also in its role as a cornerstone of the community, offering a range of services including Latin masses, weddings, and educational programs. It has been a steadfast presence for over a century. Despite the harrowing events of this week, indications from local reports and social media suggest that the Maria Lanaquila Church has weathered the storm. Though surrounding grounds have been ravaged, the main structure appears to have endured. But this church is more than just a structure. It's a testament to the enduring power of belief. The story of Maria Lanaquila is interwoven with the threads of the community it serves, providing solace, unity, and guidance. In a time when uncertainty and sorrow could easily take hold, the church's survival resonates as a profound reminder that even in the face of the most trying circumstances, faith and resilience prevail. As the sun rises on a new day, so does the spirit of renewal among the people of Maui. Their unwavering faith, mirrored by the Maria Lanaquila Church, will undoubtedly guide them through the challenges ahead. The flames may have left their mark, but they cannot extinguish the flame of hope burning brightly within the hearts of those who stand united. With the strength of their faith, the people of Maui will rebuild their homes, their lives, and their community, drawing inspiration from the church that stood strong amidst the chaos. In this moment of darkness, the Maria Lanaquila Catholic Church stands as a testament to the enduring light of faith, a light that will guide them towards a future illuminated by hope, unity, and the promise of restoration. In our mailbag today, we received a beautiful prayer from a student named Joseph Gisubel. Let us pray it together for the people of Lahaina. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In these trying times, God, we often wonder why. Why would you permit so much evil in our world? Why would you allow so much suffering and so many trials to scourge your church? In times like these, we wonder. However, even in the greatest of trials and the greatest of desolations, we find you. We know that now more than ever, you are here with us. In the midst of all this suffering, we grow closer to you, God. It is through this suffering that we truly discover what it means to be your disciples. You never promised that life here on earth would be easy. In fact, you said that it would be filled with suffering, sadness, and persecution. But in dying on the cross, you gave us hope. You have brought so many miracles and joys out of even the worst of trials. 
After all, it was through your bitterly painful death on a cross that you brought about our salvation. It was through the bloodshed of countless martyrs that your church was built up and spread your gospel of love throughout the world. It is through suffering today that we are perfected and led back to you. It is through this suffering that you bring about a greater good. We know that while we still experience so much pain here in this life, we will one day be united with you in heaven and share in your eternal glory forever and ever. Our Lady of Sorrows, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.